Bishop talk. Go sit in my element at my home and we have some piece of meat. Well, you niggas and nobody else will disturb me or ruin my brain. I'm gonna let you do his own thing. Johnson has arrived. <laughs> What's going on, Jack Johnson? All right. Yo, 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 yo. This is your boy, Bishop B, man. K. Bishop talking here with my boy, Iron Banks, the social media sensation, man. You know, I'm going to get straight into it. Okay. So, Iron, what's going on, man? Man, I'm feeling good. Long, long time coming. Yes, sir. Hey, man, listen. I, I, first of all, I want to say I appreciate you man, having to sit down with you. You know, on Bishop Talk. Hey, man, you know I don't do interviews, but I had to come through for my dog. Hey, man. That's, 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 that's definitely it. So I, you know, um, how long have you been playing with the, <laughs> the guitar, bro? I've been playing for uh, since really since middle school. I've been playing the guitar, mm -hmm. and uh, it wasn't until years after I picked up a ukulele and started playing it. But that's what the small one. You can see me on Instagram. That's a ukulele. So the guitar, that's where it all began. But yeah. Transitioned over to the little one, figured out how to play that one. I've been playing that for about four years now, three, four years now. Three, four years. And, and I've seen, like, you know, over time, um, you've been, like, you know what I mean, just transitioning from doing this to now I see you a producer. Oh, yeah. So a lot of where it started was, you know, I was doing the videos and going crazy. And I thought, you know, with Instagram, it's like you would make a viral moment. It'll last for a couple weeks, a little while, but when it really comes down to it, you want to create something that lasts, you know, outside of that. So I got to the point where I'm like, you know what? It's time to make something greater than just the videos. Yeah, because what I've seen is you have actually opened doors for other people to come in now and showcase their talents the way you do. You know, I've seen that a lot. You know I mean? I appreciate the craft, the work that you're doing. Um, what I really want to ask you is, who, do you, who who was like your first artist that gave you that social media viral presence? Um, uh, let's see. The first, oh, okay. So the very first video I ever did, I hadn't even played a ukulele like that. I did a video and uh, this girl asked me. She said, oh, "I want you to play a Snoop Dogg song." Mm -hmm. Snoop Dogg, okay. He's about to go. She likes it low end. Damn, her ass is so big. This is a song. It's one of his new songs. So I played it. We were drinking that night. I fell asleep. I woke up the next day. I was like, what happened to my phone? It was a first, I had like hundreds of followers. My phone was lit. I'm like, this thing is broken. Like, what's going on? Yeah. I start looking and I see, like, da -da -da, you got posted on a slip. Hey, I go over and I'm like, oh. Yep. Yeah. I'm right there. So that was really the first, like, this is what it feels like to be, you know, posted somewhere and have the world really take a look at it. I'm like, man, I don't know what's going on. People are hitting my DM, trying to fly me places and do this and that. I'm like, I might as well keep this up. Yeah, yeah. Might as well keep this up. And I, and I also, you know what I mean, um, how, me and you, how me and you met on social media, it was so like unreal, like it was a very organic situation. Because oh yeah, how you came out in Florida, right? Yeah, no, cause I was like, look, I'm from the Bay Area, right? So San Francisco, close to LA, mm -hmm. um, seven hour drive from LA, Northern California, Southern California. I'm up north. Um, that's where I was born. That's where I started doing all the music. That's where it started, you know, yeah. coming up from. And after a while, I had I had felt like maybe I reached a peak here. Like I got to start moving around. So I went to Detroit, I went to uh, Atlanta. I was like, you know what? I just gotta hit the whole South. So we took off, hopped on the road. And beforehand, every trip, I'd be like, okay, I gotta get a hold of whoever's popping in this area, see what artists are around. I remember I was up late one night and I seen a video on my Explore page 
of you and a bunch of Florida art. I, I forget even which video. I tapped in. I was like, hey, bro, I'm about to head out there. Like, see what we can line up. Some wins. I think you said, all right, I'm a businessman. Let's put some business together. I was like, let's make it happen. Then. Yeah, yeah. Let's make it happen. And, I, and, you, and, you know, since then, you know what I mean? Like I said, I've been seeing you gradually go, you know what I mean, from I, when I first met you, I think you had anywhere of like 80K. Yeah, now you have a million. One yeah. point, I think I had even less than that, to be honest. Yeah. I don't know, it's hard to say. But I yeah. think, I, no, I honestly believe it was 8K. Was it? Yeah, okay. I believe it was like Trust me, you know, you know, you know, I know. I, I, I remember when you hit your, your million. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I've been watching you, and I, you know, I know you said it before, you was like, yo, Bishop, you know, I'm gonna pass some lead ours, man. You know what I mean? I was like, man, that's gonna be kind of tough, but you know, you <laughs> damn sure you showed me. You didn't think I was, huh? No, I thought, I, I know you would eventually, but it was like, you was, I didn't know it was gonna be that fast, but you know, like you said, going on social media viral, you know, a lot of people posting you, World Star, DJ Academics, and all these different um, platforms. How do you feel about, like, you know what I'm saying? I know you say you're doing the production. Like, what type of producers do you want to work with coming in 2020? you have any names or any school on? I mean, really, in particular, or? I, I like I like working with producers who, who have a, a, a specific sound. So I work, I work with all types of different producers. But to me, it's like, I feel like the producer I'm about to make the most hits with might still be a producer I ain't worked with yet. Yeah. So it's all about networking and it ain't like, oh, I need to work with this certain pop and pop and yeah. producer. Yeah. Yeah, I, don't, I don't feel like that. It's just like, we make good music. If they're about their business, if they're working hard, like, let's go. Because I'm around artists. They're probably going to be around artists too. We're going to make it happen. So let me ask you this one question. Before we get up out of here, what is the most randomest DM that you get all the time? Random. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I got this one. I mean, mainly it's people asking for money, and they be asking for like twenty-five. Oh yeah, we, yeah, I, I know. We know about the money. You said I got him a DM one day. Oh yeah. <laughs> I just had I just had a kid ask for a phone. And I said my boy Bishop got you. Um, nah, this one thing is like you know, there's genuine stuff and, and at first i'm like damn you just ignore somebody who's needed like that if somebody hit you know mm -hmm. another person told me like oh yeah i got this person who needs help and their life spiral out of control i'm like i'm not even the same thing but after a while you realize you get so many people messaging you i need money my life's in shambles i need a car i need a house this woman hit me the other day she said i need a new house a car i need a job i need Twenty-five thousand dollars. I was like, you should tell she needs Jesus. I passed it to my boy. I was like, so do I. I was like, yo, <laughs> this woman wants a whole life gifted to her. I'm like, off of what? And it was just like, I know, like, you probably don't get this, or you probably don't understand. But can I have this? this? I mean, it wasn't even like, love what you do. I have seen it. it was just, we gonna go straight into it. Buy me a whole new lifestyle. Yeah, man. I get some other crazy ones. But yeah, I, I, I thought that's just like, that's mad wow. So she, 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 she was better off asking for a kid. And then you go look at her pages. She's she lit drinking in Vegas. I'm like, oh, uh -huh. this paragraph does not match the one. Oh, yeah, she's scheming. She's scheming on there. So, you know, before we go wrap, wrap this up on Bishop Talk, I want to ask you one more thing. Mm -hmm. Can you give some encouragement to some younger kids out there that's watching you on social media? What to do and how, you know what I mean? Oh yeah. How to keep it going. I mean, when it comes down to it in this day and age, if you're gonna pop off in social media, you gotta find your niche and you gotta work at it every single day. A lot of people are like, oh, he just be getting it easy. Now he's linking with whoever. Like this comes with every single day, every single waking hour working at it. And you know, I found something that was unique that I could take off with, but for the first year, you get doubt, you get people saying it ain't gonna work, you get people who don't take it seriously, who think it's a gimmick, who you know don't even believe in it. And if you stay motivated, you stay on it, you stay working every day, nobody's gonna hand it to you. It's gotta come from you putting that pressure in on exactly what you wanna do to get you to that point where you're actually making a living off of it, you're actually you know, the followers of the followers, that's, that's always going to be, you know, just face value, what people look at. None of that really matters when it comes down to it. It's the impact you have and, and the people you can get in touch with and the people you can really work with and reach and, and 
get money with and do all that, but you know, it's a tool. You use social media to get by, you use social media to position yourself to earn money and get known. And, and if you're gonna get into that, you gotta really think, this isn't gonna be an overnight, oh, this all of a sudden works. You work every single day, you hustle at it, it's your craft. You may put in that 10,000 hours, you shouldn't even start complaining because there's people out there who put in 10 times more than that who still ain't out. So, facts, facts. And again, man, it's your boy Bishop B. I'm here with my boy Iron Pains, man. I appreciate him, you know what I mean? Taking the time out, doing the video with my boy Views from the Streets. So we're gonna cut it just like that. Uh, thanks.